Okay. Ay, 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 ay. What's up, loves? What's up, divas and divos? It's your girl April. So today we're gonna do this video. It is super early in the morning. Um nine o'clock i have already made up got my one of my favorite t-shirts on so if you see me in another video with this shirt on just realize that a girl was on a roll i did have somewhere to go or so i thought and it ain't till next week so when i got my directions out i was like oh well i'm gonna just go back upstairs and do some videos so anyway this beautiful <laughs> Um, creation is a lace frontal that I made using my Lisa hair which they provided me with some virgin Brazilian loose hair in 24 22 20 and the frontal was 18 inches so as you guys heard I only used a three bundles with a frontal and with a, like a 360 you don't really need so many bundles so this is just a frontal um, I don't really make a lot of frontals but I have been getting really good at it lately so I am really pleased with myself for that and this is loose wave now I'm gonna be honest and tell you guys when I washed it and then I hung it upside down to dry like I normally do so that the hair could get super duper wavy that'll give it like the ultra waves like the most waves of all time it was very loose meaning there really wasn't too many waves so i decided to just put some curls in it and to let it sit overnight while well, i actually let it sit for two nights i put some flexi rods in it so that the curls could actually hold i did have to tweeze this unit i did have to tweeze the hairline um because it was really dense it was really really thick on the hairline not too bad but it wasn't pre-plucked it wasn't like faded in to me it, it just seemed like it was a lot more hair than i would just like in my area in the front so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to definitely remove these curlers and then i'm going to cut away at the lace so these are the i'm not really sure if they come in different colors but these are the these flexi rods i've had for a minute and they're just really really large so the curls did come out really nice like they do have a lot of body like i said i curled it with a two inch barrel hot curler and then i put the flexi rods in it Okay, so in my suggestion, the best thing to use when cutting the lace is a small scissor. Okay, so the wig cap that I used was an actual adjustable deluxe wig cap that had the hooks in the back. Um, I just wanted to use something totally different. Um, and I did put the combs inside of it and an adjust. Um, an elastic band so it's very bouncy but I think it came out kind of cute now I'm gonna take some concealer stop all the clocks I'll be with you you're all I think about pull me apart if you have to but you're all that I think about tell me you can Thank you. 
Okay, so I love this hair. Like, OMG, I think I'm going to start using flexi rods and letting the hair sit for like a day or two because it gave it so much volume and body. Like, seriously, amazing. Like, it gave it so much volume. So when I brushed this, some of the hair did come out. I'm not sure if this is from what I tweezed out. When I tweezed the hair out of this lace frontal, oh my God, it was so much hair. I was just sitting there watching TV, tweezing away, tweezing away, because I really wanted to make it look as natural as possible at the hairline. So I think I did an amazing job because, girl, look, I like pre-plucked that sucker, okay? So it kind of like blends right in. I didn't cut it. I didn't trim it. I just left it in its natural length and state. And this was three bundles. I think probably like this much was left of the three bundles, which was great. I really tried to put all of it on. And you know, I like a lot of hair, but this is still like a lot of hair. Like the Flexi Rods does it justice. Okay. And the hair to me is more or less like a low luster. It's not as silky, like silky, silky straight, like bone straight because it is supposed to be a loose wave. So I guess once you wash it again, it, it'll wave up, but it doesn't wave up to my expectations. Like, you know, if it was really, really wavy, a girl wouldn't have did nothing. But I'm kind of glad that it didn't come out really wavy because I was able to see how nice it came out with the actual flexi rods, okay? And prior to me curling it, um, I did put some cream of nature styling mousse on it. That just helps with the flyaways and also helps hold the curl. And then, you know, I just put the flexi rods in it. A big chunk of hair in each flexi rod because I didn't want it too tight. You know, the less hair you put, the tighter the curl is. So I didn't really want it too tight. And I think like this curl pattern is like great for me. You know what I mean? It's, it's really good for me. Now, the one thing that I'm really happy about, because I don't really like to do lace frontals. I haven't done a lot of them. I mean, I've probably done like about seven or eight of them, a total probably. Um, some of them have came out okay. Um, first, first couple of them came out. The first one I ever did came out pretty good. Then the second few didn't come out that great. And then lately, I have been doing really well because I have found my own method of doing them and doing them the correct way. So I really do like to make the lace frontals now. The only issue I'm having with this one is I forgot to put the comb in the nape area. And you guys know I love combs everywhere um, because I just like combs everywhere, like on the sides and in the back. Because even though I have the adjustable strap, a girl really likes to feel secure in her wigs. Like, I don't really want anybody's wind coming along and then pushing my wig off. And then I'll be like, oh, my God, my wig just blew off. Then I got to run down the street and, ca and catch it. Like, seriously, because I will run after my wig, okay? But I do like the lace frontals. Um, Don't get me wrong. A girl still love her closures, too. But I guess for a lot of people, lace frontals are more realistic. You could do more things with them. So I really do like the way this came out. And a, a lot of other reasons why... I I just didn't like to do the lace frontals is because you had to like do too much like I mean you had to kind of like thin the hairline out which I have gotten really accustomed to and I have found my own method definitely check out my Lisa hair I think this is like the third video that I've ever done for them so they do have some pretty affordable hair um, on a scale of 1 to 10 what I would rate their hair I would probably give it like an 8 um, I would give it a 9 but it didn't wave up like my expectations for it to be loose wave but the texture is really full so the cuticles are really full you don't need a lot of hair which is great because you know a girl be like um i need more than i need four bundles and nothing under but definitely the hair is great um it's like you know it's very affordable if you if you're thinking you're going to have it for eternity then I don't think any hair you're going to have for eternity, but if you take care of it properly and just go ahead and detangle it properly in the nape area, then I think that you will have the hair for just as long as you expect to. So definitely check them out. I will post their information for you guys below. Let me know what you think of this unit, how it came out. Did I do a good job or what? I love you guys. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs this video up because you know you love me and I will see you all in a soon to come video.